Hi, I'm Dick Wall, a Java programmer for many years and co-host of the Java Posse, and more recently a Scala enthusiast. So I would say uh, my job right now is very interesting. I work on uh, human genomics and uh, telling people what they, what they may be at risk of getting, uh, for example, uh, different conditions that are encoded in their DNA. Uh, Scala is going to be very interesting for this kind of work. It suits the data set very nicely. And what I would say is uh, never get stuck with the thing that you're doing right now. Always keep learning and looking for the next big thing. The, the fun is in the learning. So my name is Bill and uh, I've been programming a long time, got into it when I was a teenager and uh, just found it uh, very uh, interesting. You get to build things that uh, really are only limited by your imagination and uh, it's really challenging to get them to work and so you have to work at it and work at it and work at it and once you get it to work it's very satisfying. So uh, that's how I got started. Okay, so you're Carl Quinn. Yes, I'm Carl Quinn. And I know you from the Java Posse. Yep. Why don't you maybe say what that is? Okay, I'm one of the uh, members of the Java Posse podcast, which is a podcast, audio podcast, not video, just audio, um, all about Java, programming, news, happenings, you know, what's what's up with the Java world, so the community. And where do you work now? So now I'm at Netflix, so I'm working on tools and other sort of Java programmer productivity things at Netflix. Uh -huh. yeah. Before that, I was at Google for about five years. Uh -huh. yeah. And then, uh, did you get started as a youngster with programming? programming? Probably started programming when I was maybe 10. Uh -huh. Actually building circuits first with transistors and things. And then once I figured out software was actually easier, I just started doing that. Uh -huh. So, basic on a Commodore PET. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's even before the VIC-20 and the Commodore yeah. 64 and yeah. all those. Yeah. So maybe you got started on small computers a little earlier yes. than I did. Yeah, and then Apple II and uh, eventually PCs and writing, writing Pascal and C. Uh -huh. yeah. And then any career advice or things you think people should study to become a successful software <laughs> developer? So I think I went maybe the straight route, um, going to you know, university and studying computer science. Because mm -hmm. I knew right away at that age that's what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of other degrees, if, if you are interested in science or math, those are always good starting points mm -hmm. to move into computer science later. Good. Yeah. Okay, Carl, thanks a lot. Sure.